Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we did analysis here on the attacks that the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto made about Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka in his Ukambani tour. He was in Machakos County campaigning there. That video is doing well on this channel. But again today, the Kitui governor, Charlie Tingilu, called for a press conference in her office to respond to William Samuel Ruto's attack on Kalonzo Musyoka and the people of Ukambani. And this is what the star published on Gilu's response to William Samuel Ruto. If you allow me to read, Gilu tells Ruto to stop demeaning Kalonzo during Ukambani visit. <laughs> and according to this story, Kitui governor Charity Gilu has, uh, has answered Deputy President William Ruto for allegedly insulting and uh, using vulgar language against former Vice President. Kalonzo Musyoka during his tour of Ukambani on Tuesday. Gilu lamented that Ruto had increasingly developed the habit of demeaning leaders from area he has visited during his August presidential pool campaigns. They go on to say she also said that she also cited the case of Meru Governor Kiraitu Murungi. <laughs> Gilu, who had called a press conference in her boardroom on Friday, told Ruto to, des to desist from attacking, from talking ill of leaders who areas he visit in his campaign. Now, we are continuing with our panel discussion, but a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once release a video like this, will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our video to more viewers or a larger audience. Otherwise, let us continue with our discussion. Now, we all agreed yesterday that Ruto's small, petty, unnecessary mistakes that is making in his campaign is going to be a tool that his opponent are going to use against him to finish him politically because the question we are asking ourselves here today is what influence has William Samuel Ruto's visit to Okambani on Thursday has brought to the UDA party is it a plus or a minus that is the question and we can see it very clear from what Charlie Tingilu is doing here, Ruto made a mistake by attacking Stephen Kalonzo Musyok. Now they will change the situation to look like Ruto simply, he was attacking the Ukamban people. <laughs> and Charlie Tingilu is here. So Ruto has provided an opportunity for people like Charlie Tingilu to plant a sense of direction to the masses within <laughs> Ukamban region on which direction to take they have to. Otherwise, Ngilu could not have come out in a press conference to respond to such issues. But she knows very clear that there is something she can gain through responding to William Samuel Ruto by planting a sense of direction to take people to Azimio. <laughs> and remember, even Ngilu has also come out clear to use this opportunity to defend Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. There is a reason why Ngilu is doing this. Kalonzo has not declared joining Azimio, but Ngilu is in Azimio to support Raila Odinga. Ngilu has been calling Kalonzo to join Raila Odinga in Azimio la Umoja. Again, Ngilu is looking for an opportunity to serve the second term in office, so meaning she's going on ground to campaign on her second term in office. So, using this opportunity to defend Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka can work in the interest of Charity Ngilu. Because if there is a group that is supporting Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka and even Wiper Party, those people who are part of the Wiper Party, they are going to easily embrace and vote for Charity Ngilu just because Ngilu came out strong to defend Kalonzo Musyoka when William Samuel Ruto was attacking Kalonzo Musyoka. So Ruto has provided an opportunity for Charity Ngilu 
to campaign. And now she's going to harvest from the wiper bucket and from the supporters of Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. You see how this one now is working out. So the biggest beneficiary in this issue is Kalonzo Musioka, Charitingilu, Nazimio. Because again, look here. Ruto goes to Kambana to insult the leaders in the name of campaigning. <laughs> Raila goes to Kambani to bring together leaders and even call on Stephen Kalonza Musioka to work with him and seemingly there's no way Raila is attacking the people within that region especially the top leaders like Kalonza Musioka Raila simply campaign and leave now Charlie Tingilu comes here to tell Kalonza Musioka <laughs> that William Ruto is not your friend because he's here to diminish your name, to attack you in the name of campaigning. So the best way to win this war against William Ruto is for you to join Azimio La Umoja and work with Raila Amolo Dinga. That is what Chartingilu is here to sell. And the people of Kambani are buying into this. Because if he has been calling on Kalongo to work with Raila, then someone comes and attacks Kalonzo and she comes out strongly to defend Stephen Kalonzo Musioka by responding to those who are demeaning Kalonzo Musioka. It is easy for white people to believe in Charity Gilu sense of direction that she's advising Kalonzo Musioka to take. And in that way, I think Azimio can harvest more from every mistake that <laughs> Ruta is doing here. Even Ruto has made Ngilo to remind Kenyans about how Ruto is demeaning those people who have fought for the independence and the, the democracy of this country. Talk of uh, the Meru governor, Kireto Murungi. Murungi has been part of the team that was jailed when they were fighting for the second liberation of this country. He was in that team of Raila Odinga and the team. And these are the people that William Ruto is attacking, and yet there are the people of Epigania Uhuru that is enjoying now. Even the new constitution that we are using now, Ile Luko amalgamated by Kibaki, 2010. The privileges that Ruto is enjoying today, that he can get out and openly respond to President Uhuru Kenyatta, now where's the photo cars, is because of the new constitution. So, unajua kama mtu amepigania kitu yenye na kusaidia saa hizi na wewe uko hapa nje to again insult the same person even these people can curse you that curse can touch you So, one day Raila said Ruto might need me if he want to become the president This will not go in vain There's a time William Samoei Ruto will need Raila Odinga and this 2022 if Ruto was to become president I think he needed Ruto he needed he need Raila Odinga. But now Raila is on ballot. And seemingly, the state has accepted Raila Odinga. The deep state is, a, is accepting Raila Odinga and not William Samuel Ruto. So what Raila was speaking in 2017, 2018 is coming to haunt William Samuel Ruto. Now, I don't know what you think about this, but that's my view. So let us meet in the comment section. <laughs> where I can be able to read your views. I'm going to read each and every comment as usual. Again, I will respond to all those comments. So, let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.